Well, there's one thing to say about the Miami Dolphins season so far. It has not been boring. Starting off early in uh, you know, spring training, you have your starting quarterback go down and you have to make a change and bring in the veteran Jay Cutler. You have a couple of key players on your defensive side of the ball go down. Then your week one game is delayed because of Hurricane Irma. So now you got to go 16 weeks without a bye week. Then you finally get a chance to play a game and Lawrence Timmons, your highest paid free agent that you brought in, goes AWOL. You can't find him week one, so you got to end up suspending him. Now he's back and playing for the team. Team. Then, of course, now recently you've had everything that has gone down with Chris Forrester, the video that was shown about him, and now he has been forced to resign and the team has had to bring in a new offensive line coach. So it has been an interesting first quarter of the season, but through four games, the Dolphins have stayed afloat at 2-2. Two and two. But if there has been a part of this team that has been boring, that has been pathetic to watch, that has been dreadful, that has drove every Dolphin fan crazy, it has been the Miami Dolphins offense, which is currently dead last in the league in all categories except running the ball, which they're only 31st in, by the way. They have not been able to execute any kind of deep game. They play very conservative, and they're not even good at that. So, a big question now among Dolphin fans is how to fix this offense. And there is a few things they can do, but one of the big questions is, should there be a change at the quarterback position? Did the Dolphins make a mistake turning to Jay Cutler to try and save their season when they could have signed somebody else or perhaps turned to Matt Moore, who was already on the team? Now, I will say for a few things, as easy as it would be just to sit here and bash Jay Cutler and hate on him and blame him for everything, there is a lot that needs to be fixed with this offense right now. The offensive line still for yet another season is not where it needs to be. Now, there is some talent. Maybe they can start to pull things, some things together. Anthony Steen has played better recently. Juwan James probably having a career year. Uh, you think about Laramie Tunsil, a left tackle who has had some struggles, but he's also very new to the position. So perhaps if you give him time, he can get better. But that offensive line needs to improve. There's no doubt about it. It just it opens up your running game. It opens up everything. And it's going to allow Gase to trust whoever his quarterback is to throw the ball down the field. Wide receivers also need to play much better. Wide receivers are breaking routes. They're not following where they need to go. If you check out the film, most of the time they're not open. Uh, even when good passes are thrown their way, they're dropping the ball. And this is a wide receiving core that really should be one of the best in the NFL or at least the strength on this Miami Dolphins team. But if you would ask me the question of should the Miami Dolphins have bench Jay Cutler, I would tell you that the Miami Dolphins probably never should have signed Jay Cutler. Cutler. They should have given this season to Matt Moore. There's a few reasons for that. You could have ended the Matt Moore debate that has been among Dolphin fans for years by just giving him this year. But the main thing is you need to give this team to somebody that cares. Matt Moore is not spectacular. And right now, bringing him in on the offensive side of the ball would not fix everything. You would still be much better on the defensive side of the ball, and that would be the strength of this team, but you would have some life and some energy and some passion to this team. Matt Moore had more completed passes, more yards, more touchdowns, and the same amount of interceptions in the four games he played last year as Jay Cutler has had this year. You're giving this, you're giving this team, which if they get their crap together, could be a playoff team like they were last year. And you're giving it to somebody that ultimately just doesn't have the passion and the energy to fix the problems on the offensive side of the ball. And they extend past quarterback, but you need a leader. You need somebody that's going to get everybody in shape. And I have no problem turning to Adam Gase and saying that his play calling needs to get better. I have no problem looking towards the wide receiver and the offensive line and saying their play needs to get better. But I believe there's going to get to a point in this season when the Dolphins are going to have to face facts and make a change at the quarterback position. I, I believe Gase is very loyal to his quarterbacks and especially loyal to Jay Cutler, who he's worked with in the past and doesn't want to admit that they've made a mistake. But right now, Jay Cutler is the 30th ranked quarterback according to QBR. This offense has only scored 34 points in four games. There's teams who can put up 34 points in a singular game, let alone a quarter of the way through the season. 
The offensive playbook has been dumbed down to nothing but bubble screens and short passes, and we can't even do that right. And I understand if your fear is, oh, make the offense a little more conservative because you want to keep the turnovers down for Jay Cutler. And if that was working and maybe the offense is, was a little boring, but at least we were driving down the field and Jay Cutler was playing well, I could put up with a conservative offense. But Jay Cutler has three touchdowns and three interceptions. Even everything you're doing to accommodate him on the offensive side of the ball, excuse me, is not preventing turnovers. So what is the point? What is such the problem of bringing in Matt Moore? A cheaper, veteran option who actually cares about this Miami Dolphins team. 